all right welcome to my channel guys and today we're going to talk about a few city tweaks that are brand new just came out today and uh, i know that a lot of people been asking me is there any tweak uh, for whatsapp app so today um, i have really good news for those people um, that are looking for a tweak for whatsapp uh, this is awesome tweak really nice really uh, uh, really awesome that's all i can say right now and uh, before we start this video and i can uh, show you guys all uh, these few tweaks um let me ask you guys to please subscribe to my channel and smash that bell icon so you guys don't miss any future videos so uh, let's get this video started and let me show you guys uh, the couple tweaks that i uh, just uh, found and uh, they're brand new just came out today so uh now the first one we're going to talk about today is the uh, drag on this tweak basically that's what they look like and as you guys can see in this uh, icon symbol uh, on the top left corner you guys see the green dragon uh, shape and then uh, it's a, a, dra a drag on uh, that's what I call and uh, as you guys can see the description uh, drag on is the unlimited whatsapp tweak uh, with add added support for um, whatsapp uh, business you can access the tweak setting in the whatsapp setting uh, page and then the user view and store a deleted message uh, delete all message from everyone uh, disable typing typing indicator and then disable uh, read receipt and save profile picture and um, hide last scene so you can do all these features with this tweak now this is awesome because uh, sometimes what happens is the you send somebody a message and you send the message to wrong person or you send the message that uh, next person didn't like so what you can do uh, with this if you have this tweak uh, installed you can delete right now in a default setting you can delete the uh, recent sent message uh, within i think like you got a uh, five minute or something and with this if you send the message yesterday and today you decided to delete that message from everyone and uh, from your side and from the person that you uh, sent to you can delete that message uh, from both side with this tweak this is awesome really nice tweak and as you guys can see right there in the picture when you go to uh, whatsapp uh, app uh, setting uh, you guys can uh, uh, access uh, as you guys can see right there, there you have the drag on setting. I'm going to show you guys in, uh, as you guys can see, this uh, next picture. And now you can uh, disable uh, marking message or you can disable the typing indicator, uh, view urgent message, disable marking status, and disable auto uh, advance, and hide last scene. So you can change all of that uh, stuff uh, with this tweak. And this is awesome, really nice. Um, tweak and uh, the reason uh, and also the good thing is uh, you can uh, let's say somebody send you a video and you want to uh, save it uh, to your mobile uh, device or you want to share with uh, uh, somebody else you don't have to do a forward you can actually save that media file on your device and then from there you can send share or uh, you know do whatever you want and uh, you have that option too and as you guys can see right there uh, it was just released today uh, June uh, 28 2020 and it is a free package and this package is from uh, Big Boss Repo it's awesome nice and uh, must have on your uh, jailbroken device for your whatsapp app so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to my whatsapp app and I'm gonna show you guys what it looked like in the actual uh, actual um, uh, actual application so when uh, when I open my whatsapp as you guys can see we're gonna go to uh, setting as you guys can see right there um, the second option and uh, drag on and from here you can change whatever you want um, however you want to set it up it's really awesome really nice um, application and uh, you can do all of these different uh, configuration uh, once you download it so that's why I just want to make this video and bring it out to you guys. Just let me know in the comment below what you guys think about this. And if you guys need help or you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment below as well. And I will get back to you guys as soon as possible. Now, the next week we're going to talk about really fast is the um, 
forward uh, forward notification this is the tweak right here uh, as you guys can see um, uh, forward and uh, notifier uh, now the, with this tweak what what happens is uh, when you are at home or you are at office and uh, your phone is about to die so you what do you do you put your uh, phone on charging and and uh, once you put the phone on charger and you're sitting on your desktop and you're getting a lot of notification on your phone with this tweak uh, you can forward your notification to your desktop or your laptop or any other device you have as you guys can see right there uh, this is the des uh, description for it and um, it actually help you guys to easily uh, reply to your notification your messages your email anything you have uh, that you can not get to your phone you can actually reply to those with this tweak you can uh, forward your tweaks whatever device that you're working on right now um, at the moment uh, you're using your laptop your desktop or your uh, any other mobile device or you're using iPad you can uh, I'm going to show you guys how to set it up and everything. Um, so yeah, this is for how to forward your notification uh, from your mobile device. So what I, what we're going to do? Uh, we're going to go to my settings, and once we are in settings, we're going to go to tweaks, and then once we are in tweaks, um, we're going to find that tweak, and it's called uh, forward notifier. And this is the tweak. That's what it looked like. And now, as you guys can see, the first option is set device. As a receiver so you able this once you able this you can now uh, from this the blacklist app now from here you can uh, choose which app uh, which app you can receive the notification from or which app you don't want to uh, receive the notification from so all you have to do let's say you want to uh, able the notification for the uh, let's see mail you can turn this on and then next one you want to do is messages and then next one you want to do is the uh, phone um, and then uh, next one you want to do is anything from the safari um, uh, weather so whatever the application you want all you have to do is toggle uh, toggle on and uh, then the next option is the post a notification if something um, is imported so you can able that um, this option and then uh, next option is to uh, able when charging you can uh, able this and uh, now uh, as you guys can see you have option disable when unlocked so basically when your phone is unlocked that means you have your uh, uh, your phone and your hand so you don't want to uh, forward your notification to your desktop you want it on your phone so with this option it will disable this feature and you can uh, continue getting your notification on your uh, phone and then next option you can you guys can see you you have the option if you running the uh, uh, on your desktop or your laptop you're running uh, Linux uh, Mac OS iOS or window all these uh, four uh, operating uh, system you can uh, forward the uh, notification to now right here uh, uh, not notification setting uh, you have the SSH or um, the uh, you uh, from here all you have to do turn this on and then you put the uh, user IP or uh, host name local and uh, port uh, level empty if it's default and a passport if you want a passport and uh, you can uh, once you uh, set it up you can uh, have the test notification and uh, if you uh, like what you see then you know all you have to do respring your device and it will take effect and that's it that's all you have to do and then uh, you can uh, uh, forward your notification easily and simply so that way you don't have to go back and forth if your phone is on charging and you're sitting in a family room and then your phone goes off and uh, then you got notification you have to get up and go to your phone now with this you can forward to your laptop desktop or anything you want and uh, simple um, and you don't have to uh, go back and forth to look at on your phone so this is awesome awesome tweak and I highly recommend you guys getting this and also in the video I'm gonna put uh, about five themes 
I'm gonna show you guys really quick. Uh, so as you guys can see, um, right now you guys can see right there um, my icons. It look like a plate. Um, uh, look at my dock and all these uh, you know um, applications that have like you know plate uh, looking uh, icon. Uh, I'm gonna put these uh, uh, put this one in the description below and as well. There's a few more as you guys can see. If I go to my snowboard and go to uh, theme. And right now I'm uh, using the uh, Lightly uh, Plate 13, and there is the uh, Darky uh, OLED uh, Darky. Um, all these um, all these themes I'm gonna post. I'm gonna put put them in the description below so you guys can get it from there if you guys like it. And uh, for this video, that's all for today. And thank you for watching my video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.